Hello everyone, this is Bakari with Mac Photography Tips and I am excited to talk about um, the new edition of Aperture 3.0. If you are an existing Aperture user or you've been thinking about uh, trying out Aperture, uh, this is a great time to do that. Um, what you see in front of you now is Aperture 2.0 and here is the new um, and definitely upgraded um, Aperture 3.0. And what I thought I would do in this um, in this video is kind of share a series of tips that um, that are not talked about too much in on the Aperture. I mean, on the, on the Apple site itself about Aperture 3.0. If you go and click up here on uh, help in Aperture 3.0 and you click on uh, welcome to Aperture it will bring up a series of really great uh, highly professional videos that expose you to the uh, main some of the main features new and old features of Aperture and so you know check out those videos if you if you're new to Aperture just check those videos and you'll, you'll get a, a, a lot of information there and also, I'm going to put a link into um, uh, into this uh, video that would also show you another um, website page on on, app, on Apple.com in which it breaks down many of the 200 plus features um, that I'm going to talk about today. I'm not going to talk about 200, but I'm going to point out just some just some really kind of quick features that I've noticed already and I like, and I'm going to just quickly show them to you because I think. You know, showing things in video is a lot quicker to, to, to um, learn than just reading, um, you know, reading text. So basically what I'm going to do is kind of go through, I don't know, maybe seven, eight, ten uh, little tips that, um, that I like. Okay, so first off, let's talk about um, full screen mode, some of the new features in Aperture 3.0. If you are not working with a large screen, like some one of those 27-inch um IMAX screens and you have you know you're working say maybe on a laptop or a smaller screen full screen mode is a great uh, way to work with images sometimes and so first off one of the new features is that you can get um, the uh, you can browse um, photos or browse images in full screen mode so here we're in the browser mode here and you click on the um, the F key oops sorry all right and you see we have browser mode here um, that way so this is a great way and you can it's like in uh, in the browser mode you can move the pictures around and then of course when you're working in the uh, working with one image click on that there and so you have your large image and you want to bring up your adjustment HUD or panel spectre panel and what you can do is you notice that when I did that um, it parked itself on the side of the screen and basically all you have to do in order for that to happen is that you can keep it floating if you want or you can click this little button here and it will lock it to the side of the screen there so you don't have to always keep moving it around and the same thing you can also click here and it says always show toolbar this right here will get rid of the you know we can bring the toolbar back and forth here as well so if you don't want to always stick there you know this is just a, a nice way of getting more screen real estate so that's the, some of the new features in full screen mode Okay, the next tip is dealing with um, importing photos. There's a lot of new uh, features in Aperture 3.0 for importing photos. And so, so let's pull, this up. I'll pull up some files from my existing, uh, some pictures on my hard drive already. Um, so here, if you look at, uh, you get a lot of good options here. Basically, one, you can, you know, check or ch uncheck all the photos that exist that you're about ready to import in. So it will only import in images that you have checked here as well uh, that for one two is that you can create over here notice you can create a project folder right here instead of having to go into the um, aperture library pane if you will to create a project first you can create a, a new project right here so that's really a time saver as well um, we go down you can uh, of course you can always do your um, presets of metadata presets which I have a few already here and you can create those so, so that's pretty much like the aperture 2.0 and the, but the one thing that's really nice is that now and we're going to talk about the presets if you probably no doubt heard about the presets already you can apply presets 
two photos as you import them. So that's really going to be a nice time saver. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. It might slow down the import process a little bit, but it is nice and convenient if you just want to, you know, apply a certain preset to all your images and just kind of walk off and let Aperture do its thing in that regard. And the last thing is um, you can also now use Apple Script scripts in um, Aperture. So that might also be a very useful thing as well. And it might enhance um, some workflow items. Um, I, I would imagine people who act, Apple Script developers will probably be bringing up some really nice stuff for us to use. And I'm going to try my hand at a few myself. So those are some of the new features in the importing process. Very clean um, importing process. You notice that a lot of the fonts and icons here are a lot a lot bigger than in Aperture 2.0. Some people have already complained about that being a little bit too big, but personally for me, I'm okay with it. Okay, um, again, there are a ton of features in um, Aperture 3.0, and I'm not going to be able to point them out all here today or, or in this particular video. So this is the last one I'm going to talk about today. As you know, there's... Um, Aperture 3.0 comes with our presets. We finally have universal presets in Aperture 3.0. And basically, you know how they pretty much probably know how to work by now. You can go in and click on a preset and get a preview how the preset is going to affect your photo before you uh, apply it. So you look at the blacks and whites here, and that gives you an example. But one of the things I wanted to point out in the tip is to, is to remind you is that you can actually assign um, key, you know, shortcut keys to your presets just like you do any other commands in Aperture <clears throat> and all you have to do is go up to um, Aperture commands customize and what it will do when you do that it, it's going to make it's going to save your default um, commands and then you go into it and then you click on um, adjustment presets and it'll bring up all the existing presets that you have and you click on one and you can uh, create a um, a shortcut uh, key for it so you know you just say for example we know option um, option C or let's say option C is already taken here let's just do option command C just for the sake of this uh, video here but that's all you got to do there and then you just save it and so then you know as you begin to get familiar with the um, presets that you use most often you definitely want to create uh, shortcut keys for that so that's it uh, for this particular video and I'm going to do another one to also share some other um, uh, tips that um, I'm discovering as I start working in Aperture 3.0. I'm very excited about the program. I think it's, it's just really a lot better, um, a lot cleaner, and um, I think it, it almost surpasses uh, Adobe Lightroom. So uh, if, if, you haven't thought, if you're thinking about doing Aperture 3.0, I, I definitely highly recommend it. This is Bakari with Mac Photography Tips.